This is an extremely important trait for men to have. And this is a trait that solid men do have. It is emotional intelligence. They have emotional intelligence. And what is emotional intelligence exactly? Basically, it is keeping your cool in times where it's things are chaotic, things are uncertain, things are unfolding before your eyes. And that emotional intelligence is exactly what the name is. It's you being intelligent enough to control your emotions. Emotions are, are an art all in themselves. Because gentlemen and ladies, if you're, if you're watching, I know I got one, you know what I'm saying, a couple. But having emotional control is not an easy task because, fellas, you're going to get tried. <laughs> you're going to get tried in this world, whether it be from people, whether it be from traffic, whether it be from your boss, whether it be the weather, whether it be an, an un, unforeseen incident, God forbid, you're going to get tried. And the way that you handle it is going to determine how outcomes are going to be. It is going to determine the outcome of the situation. It can either resolve itself or you can make the situation go from zero to 100 real quick. And I'm gonna get into it. This is Tarek Talks. Let's talk about some emotional intelligence. One of the most fundamental skills that a man can have, right? Yo, know, most people, not just men, most people don't have emotional intelligence. And I used to be really bad at it. I used to flip out. I used to go in a rage. I used to get pissed. You know, any slight thing would get me all mad and you know, all this, uh, if you grew up, man, in urban environments, you already know that whole, you got to be tough. Oh, you going to let them talk to you like that? You going to let that happen? You know, it was, you, you were trained to like go fighting and all that corny shit for something simple, for something that could have been resolved or for something that you could completely just hand, have ignored or handled in a calm manner, right? And the way that you handle the situation, it could go from zero to 100 real quick. It takes a split second to destroy your whole life. Go ask them people sitting in prison for life. Go ask them people that that got in a rage and accidentally, you know, out of a fit of rage, ended somebody's life. All because their emotional intelligence was low. Okay. Guys, I'm going to tell you what. You're not cool because you you acting all tough and screaming and hooting and hollering and, oh, I got to prove myself. And uh, you, first of all, I'm going to tell you guys this. You're, you don't look tough. You look stupid, especially if you're a grown man and you're hooting and hollering. Those same people that you trying to impress or you feel like you got dissed in front of people, then people looking at you, don't give a damn about you. Meaning, if you do something stupid, right? If your emotional intelligence is so low that you spaz out and act the ass, act the ass then people aren't going to come bail you out when you do something stupid, right? Or when you do, when you get out of character and you done, you done blurted out and you done went off and you uh, very feminine, right? This is, I'm, I'm going to just say it like this, and I'm going to say something that is very controversial. Um, it is what it is. Look, this world is not, is, is not soft, okay? A lot of young men were raised by a single mom, okay? I'm just going to say it. A lot of guys were raised by a single mom, and they see how their mama reacted, which is emotional, which is screaming, hooting, and hollering, right? over emotional and hey look i'm not talking down on the mamas they tried their best but it is what it is okay they didn't a lot of young men didn't have that strong solid man to look up to that was gonna sit them down and set them straight and i just get over emotional over the smallest shit guys a lot of a lot of people get over emotional over the smallest thing and looking back at it, like I said, looking back at my own self, 
reflecting on some things that I did in the past, which you shouldn't do, by the way, which is bad, right? But I reflect not in a way that I'm reflecting like, oh man, damn, I shouldn't have done that. No, I reflect in a way that I use it as reference to not do it in the future for a betterment, right? That's why I reflect on the past. But sometimes I be telling myself, dog, that was the stupid. I shouldn't have done that. And it made me look real bad, right? What it made me look real bad. Gentlemen, when you when you lose emotional control, you are going to lose a lot of points with your family, with your friends, with whoever. Meaning, I'll give you an, an example, right? Let's say something kind of irritates you, right? Something small, but it's extremely irritating. You go off. You go off on like a five-minute rave and you ready to fight. You pulling your pants up, trying to be gangster. You know, you showing off to your, to your loser-ass homeboys and stuff. After all of that is said and done, you made yourself look like a complete idiot. You made yourself look dumb as hell. You didn't get any cool points. The people that, that you were surrounded that surrounded you lost a lot of respect, right? Coworkers, they see you go off in a rage. They see you spaz out. Now you're gonna be the trending topic of your workplace. You're gonna be the trending topic of your family. You're gonna be the trending topic of your friends and not in a good way. They're gonna be like, yeah, damn, man, he went off the he went off the handle. He lost all control. And it makes you look bad because it's like, man, this it, it it takes away some of your man points, fellas. It really does. It makes people lose trust in you because you spazzing out and screaming on the top of your lungs, it makes you look weak as hell. And lack of emotional control is a weakness. It is quite frankly, a weakness in character. It is. It really is. And I've been there, done that. I'm not speaking from a place of a high pedestal or anything. I didn't had my spaz out moments. I didn't have moments where I put hands on somebody, right? I had my moments and it makes you look super weak. The more you do it, the more people are going to lose respect for you. See, instead of, instead of people Look at stepping back from a situation and seeing how minuscule and how minute and how insignificant the ins the situation is. They go off their first reaction, especially a lot of guys. They go off their first reaction. They spaz out. And this could have been all settled. I'm telling you, 90% of the time, whatever that problem you were having quote unquote, not even really a problem. It could have been settled by, drum roll please, brrr, silence. Yes, silence. And I know I'm gonna get some ignorant mofos. They're gonna, oh, you gonna let uh, people run over you and stuff. It's not about letting people run over you, okay? It's not about letting people run over you. That is, that's, that's the shit I'm talking about. See, people, people on the sidelines, will egg you on to do some stupid shit. People on the sidelines will egg you on. Oh, you shouldn't have let them do that. You know what? I would have done this and that. They wouldn't have done shit. Fellas, let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you something, gentlemen. Then people that that's like, oh, I would have done this and that. They wouldn't have done diddly jack shit. They would have just sat there looking like a biatch, okay? Not And not have did shit. Right. But when you're when you use your head, when you're not on that, I would have done that and that and on that tough guy shit and you step back and you give give the situation some silence, you are going to it's like diffusing a bomb. Right. It's like it can go a situation can either go one of two ways. You can detonate it. And make it a complete just just nuclear holocaust. Right. Or you could step back, think, analyze it, and diffuse it. Just by being silent. Just by, okay, 
You assess the situation. It irritated you. You're not pleased with it, but you felt those emotions. You let them, you let them process. You let them process after you, after they've processed, after you, you know what I'm saying? Got your mind right after the situation unfolded. Now you could be like, you know what? I went through the emotions. I got pissed off. I got angry, but it's not even that bad. The situation done came and passed. I'm still cool, calm, collected, right? And the thing about it is the person that you had a disagreement with or the situation that 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 was unfavorable, if you give it silence, if you give it some time, it, it might come back in your favor. It might come back in your favor. It might come back in a way that is positive since you let that storm pass, so to speak. Since you let your emotions process and not go off a of first emotion, not go off a of first reaction and do something stupid. Because guys, you say, you can't, once once you say words, once your words are out there, they're out there. You can't, you cannot take them back. You cannot take your words or action back. And sometimes something that you do in that one split second, it's too late, dog. You don't let you, you don't let the words come out and you don't let the actions unfold. So there's no way you take you're taking it back. And you and something that could have been diffused, something that could have been resolved, now all of a sudden in that split second you did something that's going to put a stain on your name, right? See, the, the thing is, when you look at leaders, when you look at people that are, look at solid men, when you look at men that are solid, solid leaders, you notice that they're calm. You notice that they're in a good mood. They have positive vibes. That's why they attract people. They don't let shit take them off center because like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, people are going to try you. You cannot get mad at every little incident. Now, am I saying be a doormat? Of course not. There's always ways to handle and resolve a situation. And nine times, 9.5 times out of 10, it's not screaming and hooting and hollering, right? If it's a situation where your life is threatened and you gotta pull that thing out and, and you know take somebody's life because they are trying to do the same to you, then that's a different story, right? I'm talking about just minute, minuscule, you know, just stupid shit. And people, fellas, people are gonna be irritated at themselves. They're gonna be mad at the world. So they're gonna take it, they, the, all that, this the stuff that they do is not because of you. It's them on the inside, it's them internally. That's how they feel on the inside. And the thing about it is, they're going to make themselves look stupid. They're going to make themselves, you know, they're going to make they're going to regret the the thing that they did. Not you, cuz you were cool, calm and collected. Cooler heads always prevail. Okay? And it's hard. It's it's easier said than done. At the end of the day, 9 times out of 10, you're going to win. 9.5 times out of 10, if it's you against a emotionally unintelligent idiot, you're going to win, even in times where you're wrong. I'm gonna tell you how deep it gets. Even in times where you're wrong, you're still gonna be right, just because you held your tongue, you were patient, right? With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace.